Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a month since I've last filmed. I apologize for that, but this was the month of December and had a lot of family things going on, family activities, spent a lot of time with my family, and I just really enjoyed taking the time off and not really being on social media like Twitter and Instagram or filming. It was just a really nice, relaxing month. So anyway, Christmas was about a week ago. I hope all of you have had an amazing Christmas. I hope you all got everything that you put on your list. I'm sure a lot of you asked for guns or gun accessories. So yeah, I really hope that Santa was kind to all of you this year. All right, with that out of the way, this video is going to be a uh, review comparison between two products that I have from Ms. Concealed. Uh, Ms. Concealed is basically a website that provides different sort of holsters and accessories for women uh, to help them carry. And I have two wrap style or belly band style holsters that I want to talk about. I also would like to provide a disclaimer for this video. Uh, I kind of got into a tiff with someone who made a comment on an older video of mine uh, last night or yesterday and it's really been bugging me. Basically this person was pretty darn upset with me for giving my honest opinion about a holster. I happen to not really like a holster that apparently he loves and he kind of uh, went a little crazy on me about that. So yeah, I just really wanted to stress to you guys that obviously any of these reviews that I give for holsters are just my own opinion. I feel like I always try to say the pros and cons of every holster I try. Uh, and I'm not gonna love every holster out there. That's why we have as many holsters as we do because there's not one that fits and works for everyone. Of course, me giving an opinion on a holster does not mean you should or should not buy that holster. I'm just telling you if it works for me. All right, so let's get into this review. The first holster I'm gonna talk about is one I only mentioned in my, um, basket of holsters video, the one where I basically showed all the holsters that I own. I haven't done a review for this holster even though I've had it for a long time. So this is it. It's called the Hidden Heat Gun Holster by Miss Concealed. I don't remember the price of this so I will leave it right here. I'll look it up today and let you know what the price of it is right now. This is basically like the Dean Adams corset style holster. It has these, uh, I think they're called hook and eye uh, closures on the back so you can make it loose or tight as you need it to be. I have it as tight as it'll go and this is still kind of loose on me. This is a size small if anybody is interested in that. So yeah, this is a size small and it's a bit too loose. I do wish it was tighter because when I put it on this top piece here that would sit right here on uh, the top of your belly, this is really loose and it kind of like hangs out away from me and it sticks out in my clothing. So I feel like if this was tighter overall, that wouldn't do that. It does not have a Kydex trigger guard in it, but it is pretty thick. There's a... Uh, like a padding in here in the pockets where the gun would go. And this is for left hand or right hand. You can put a gun in either side. So this is how it looks on. I have a white tank top on underneath of it. So the holster stands out a bit more so it's easier for you to see. So I just uh, you know wrapped it around me, zippered it up. And this here is what I'm talking about. As I wear this, this gets looser and looser and it pulls away from my skin. And it doesn't show in this because obviously this is a big sweater, but if I was wearing a tighter shirt, this zipper piece sticks out. All in all, this is pretty comfortable unless you have to bend over. I don't love how this feels like uh, when I was putting my boots on earlier, when I was bending over to do that, or you know, if you're bending over a lot to do something on the floor, whatever. Uh, I don't think this is all that comfortable. It is soft, so you definitely can wear this without an undershirt under it. It might be just a little bit too long for me. I kind of wish that this was shorter and maybe came to about here. It does kind of ride up and down and move a bit when you're wearing it. I don't love that about it. And again, I am just saying these things not to uh, 
be totally bitchy or whatever, but these are things that I want to know if I were going to buy this holster. So I'm going to put my Glock in here so you can see how this works. This is not loaded. I've already checked it. Uh, so the gun slides in the pocket like that. This handle does stick out a bit. Again, if you're wearing like a tighter shirt, you might see a little bit of the handle right here. It's not bad though. It does conceal pretty well. And that's how it looks with the gun on. I don't love drawing with this holster. It is much more difficult to draw with this style of holster than it is, um, you know, if there was something on your hip because you're kind of fumbling with your clothes and then you've got to dig around in there to get the gun properly and pull it out. And I just feel like if I needed to get to it really quickly, it's not the easiest thing to do. I feel like it kind of gets lost a bit in there, if that makes sense. Especially if you're using a smaller gun like this one. This is the SIG P238. And I feel like it definitely kind of gets lost down in there. So that's how the SIG looks in this. The handle does not stick out very much. As you can see, it kind of buries itself down in the pocket. And so, yeah, that is not the easiest thing to pull out. All right, that's all I've really got to say about that holster. Uh, but Miss Concealed does have another holster that I do really like and I do recommend. That is this one. I've talked about this one before. I have a whole video dedicated to this holster. And actually, if you watch that video, you'll see that I didn't really like this holster when I first got it, but it did grow a lot on me over time. And this is a holster that I do like to wear. This is the Hidden Heat Lace 2. Again, I will put the price up there because I don't remember how much this cost. This one is a belly band style holster, but this one is more versatile than the corset style one. Like the corset, you can wear this up high just the same way and have your gun in the pocket up here. Or you can wear this down lower, you know, on your hips where it's tucked into your pants. You can wear your gun in the front. You can switch this around, wear your gun in the back, on the side, wherever you want it. This one only has one pocket on it for your gun and it has two smaller pockets on the sides. Here's how this one looks on. I've got it in the higher position like the corset style one. This holster, the pocket is much more shallow and narrow than the other one and so the gun doesn't uh, get lost in the pocket. It sits up a lot better and so it is much easier to draw. I also have a video showing how to make soft holsters or belly holsters safer by inserting trigger guards or Kydex holster inserts into them. I will link that one down below if you are interested. It does not come with a trigger guard already in it, but you can definitely add one later. Also, the last thing for this one is you attach it with Velcro and so you can make it as tight or loose as you want. So I feel like it just kind of holds it up against me a lot better and I don't have to worry about it printing. All right, guys, those are the two holsters that I have from Miss Concealed. I will leave their website linked down below if you are interested in either one of these. And just so you know, I did pay for both of these with my own money. I'm not sponsored to uh, say anything at all about these holsters. I hope this was helpful to you guys in some way. If you have any further questions about these holsters or any holster in general, just leave it down below. I hope everyone has a great New Year's and I will see you guys soon. Bye.